Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Nails by TC, a safer at home nail tutorial. Hey, everybody. How was your Christmas? I hope you had a very blessed and Merry Christmas, and I hope that you got all of the things that you and your family needed, not material things, but just things that you all need it like a roof over your head and like food on the table good health and all those beautiful things that God blesses us with daily today we're going to do a holiday set another holiday set but this one will be for New Year's excuse me and uh it's going to be a zebra print set and we're going to do a marble technique to achieve this i'm right now applying some of my cart full cover coffin tips to my practice hand and while i complete this let's listen to some more um 
music by Lakey and enjoy this session. I'm trying to find some music. <laughs> Cause you know what? Facebook been shutting me down, y'all. Yeah, I wanted some upbeat music today because Last week, that, that that solemn Christmas music was getting to me, child. Like, oh my God, I'm already suffering from homesickness. Because, you know, getting on an airplane right now is not the option. And my bag is not situated enough to be flying private all the time. So, got to do that sparingly. Or I'll be in the poorhouse. And honey, we don't want to be in the poorhouse. That's absolutely what we don't want to be doing. Especially right now, we need to reserve all of our chips because we don't know what this government going to be doing. Do you see how they got us going up? Got everybody going up to the last minute about this whole stimulus, stressing people out on the holiday. I'll be glad when that person is gone. Like gone, gone. So we don't have to worry about that foolishness no more. It's, 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 it's a shame that it's only a, a few rich white people that can determine our destinies. That's a bunch. That's that BS right there. Right. And, and we ain't going for it. We are not going for it. I, I, I believe that right after the election, whoever lost the election need to get out of there. That's what I believe. They need to just take themselves and go on somewhere. Particularly this person. You know, this is my jam right here. It's called Take Care. Hey, Tarsha. How you doing? Merry Christmas to you. Blessings to you, dear. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. Yeah, listen to this. I'm over here jamming while I'm trying to apply these full cover nail chip tips. These nail tips are available on Diamonds of Beverly Hills. They are full cover acrylic tips. The acrylic is already in these tips. These tips are sturdy. They will not bend. You don't need to apply any other nail application. Today we're going to use a nail polish by Madam Glam. We're going to use Perfect White and Perfect Black. So let's get to painting. Oh, my set, my set is done with a black base and red nail chrome. This is to mimic the Christmas tinsel on the Christmas tree with Swarovski crystals. I am the Swarovski crystal plug. So if you need you some Swarovski crystals, check out Diamonds of Beverly Hills.
We are the plug for all of your safer at home nail supply needs at a discounted price. I went and got my nail tech license so that I could shop at a discount and pass that discount on to you all. So whatever I buy it at is what I sell it at. I don't put no extras on it. This is something I'm doing for fun. And as you know, my MO, I like to help people. So while this pandemic is going on, this is a method for me to exercise an outlet for my creativity skills. Yes, honey. Your girl got creative skills. only do I produce the exotic shows but I know how to do some nails too honey yeah <laughs> like low key I just woke up probably like an hour ago cause I've been staying up late at night I don't know why I just really like staying up late at night yeah that's my jam right there This black is very pigmented. <laughs> this is also my jam. This got you bobbing your head. Yeah, on the Saturday afternoon. So how many of y'all off until next year from your job? And I'm not trying to be unsensitive if you are laid off or anything like that. I hope God's blessings be upon you and that you have an income still coming in. But some people are off until next year, honey, and I know they're happy. It's been one hell of a year. Let's pray that God bless us in 2021 so we don't have to be dealing with this craziness no more. You know what, uh, yesterday all I could think about is, you know, the people who's having a hard time trying to provide for their families, and this commercialized holiday of Christmas just stressing everybody out, making you feel like, you know, the, the um, retailers, they make 80% of their income during this time. Yes, that's the truth. They make 80% of their revenue annually. 
during the holiday season. Okay, and we're going to cure our colors in our lamp for 60 seconds that we've laid down so far. I said I was going to break out my red iguana practice hand, but guess what? I can't find it. <laughs> I got to look for it. I got a new shipment of inventory in and um I got a new shipment of inventory in and I just uh am very disorganized. Girl, let me tell y'all, do you know that tartan set that I did last week? You know the plaid? Why did I get 26 orders? All different shapes and sizes for press-on sets. So I had to make all those sets. I finally got them all done. Went out and uh, shipped them out all on... Let me see, was it New Year's Eve? No, Christmas Eve? Yeah, it was Christmas Eve. I went out and shipped, and shipped them all. And... Uh, yeah that was pretty nice so if i make any of these sets that you like and you might want to press on set just let me know i'm not really in the press on set business but i guess i am in the press on set nail business <laughs> but um yeah we can get you hooked up with some press on nails that are already designed and made for you all you have to do is apply them to the nail maybe i'll do a video on how to apply press ons so that you can uh, see how to get your press on. So we're going to break out our palette. And I got me a little nail. Palette. Got me uh, a little pad to wipe off my brush. So this is how we do the zebra print on the nails we're going to put down a line of black polish And we're going to put down a line of white. And as you see, I know I, te I teach how to do designs using all the, the gel polishes. Because there's so many things you can do with the gel polishes. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to get it to my music. That's my jam. <laughs> That's my jam, y'all. Okay, I'm going to get my ombre brush. And see, the ombre has these extended bristles that flare out and thin out. And what I'm going to do is get me a, also a nail dotting tool. And I'm going to, I'm going to look, let me see if I can get my palette, my palette on view. Sometimes I have to check my view to make certain that my uh, camera is in range. I think that's a little better we want to take the dotting tool and we just want to zigzag in the polish just a V you don't want to overdo it okay 
You want to get your nail brush wet in some gel residue solution or some acetone. Okay. And you just want to... I need a little bit more white. Being that we have a lot of black on this palette. Okay, you just want to scoop you some up in the brush. The side that does not have the polish sitting on it is the side you want to lay down on the nail. And you just want to take this in a swirling motion. And don't worry about going up against the line and we're going to clean up that cuticle area so don't worry about that so we created us a marble we want to flash cure that in the lamp so it doesn't move I really have too much black on this palette so I'm going to try my best and as you can see I'm just swirling the brush down in a diagonal angle to create that zebra effect And we're going to cure that in the lamp. Flash cure it so it doesn't move. And as I'm doing each one of these, you can see I'm going in a diagonal motion. And we're going to flash cure that one. Okay, now I'm going to check my nails to make certain I have full coverage of my zebra. See, like over here in this cuticle area, just fill it in. And over here, we have a cuticle area that's a little open. And we want to flash cure those. I'm 
noticing that up against this black, we have a little space. So I'm just filling, filling in. And while I'm filling in, I'm using the same squiggly line motions to get my marble effect. Okay, we want to clean our brush off in some acetone. Get the brush back clean again. And we want to give this a good cure in the lamp. Yes, we are listening to Take Care, which is my jam right now. Okay. <laughs> Just imagine yourself riding down the coast to this. Now we need to give these a good 60 second cure in the lamp because we use two gel polishes to create the marble effect. So we want to make certain we got a good cure through all layers of polish. All right, so that's cured in the lamp. Now, I'm gonna clean up my nails before I go any further. We're going to do some nail art foil on these nails to make them pop so what I'm doing is I'm just cleaning up my cuticle areas that I failed to clean up before I cured in the lamp and if you happen to do that just get you some acetone and just rub it on your cuticle area and it should come right off Okay, so you know, I see this one is got the deep black in there in the center. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to get us some nail art foils, and I think I want to use this hot pink colored one. And I'm gonna cut me off a small strip. All right, and I'm gonna get me some gel residue cleaner. Some Mia Secret gel residue cleaner. I'm gonna put some on a clear pad lint free wipe and I'm just going to gently wipe down the back of my nail art foil and why you do this is to ensure you have better adhesion oh no you will not believe what I just did I dropped all of the foil into the gel on my palette. Okay, we're going to get us some nail art foil glue. We're going to bring our palette back. 
and we're going to bring us a little bit of the nail art foil glue and put it onto the palette and don't worry about it being white because it dries clear I have some clear nail art foil glue but I don't reach, feel like reaching behind me to get it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to immerse my brush in the nail art foil glue And I'm just going to put some squiggly lines in a design that I've already laid down. I'm not doing good over here with this palette. Okay, clean off your little, I have my short nail striping brush. I want to cure that in a lamp for 30 seconds while I clean off my hand that has black and white polish all over it. Now I hope this works. I really hope this works. Not we want to resort to another process. <laughs> I'm going to do another quick 10 seconds just to make certain my nail art foil glue is good and cured. Okay, I'm going to take my nail art foil. So we got this hot pink foil. And I'm just going to press and pull. Press and pull. Where I laid down the nail art foil glue. All right, so I can get the nail art foil off my fingers. Okay, as you can see, our design is coming together. I got a little bump over here. So, what I'm gonna do is get me some nail hardener, some nail strengthener, and this is like. A good coverage to put on the nails before you top coat it and it seals in your design your nail art foil and all of your designs and it brings that nail art foil to life Now this nail strengthener is thicker than the top coat, the super shiny top coat. And it has an inhibition layer. It has a sticky layer. So if you're gonna use this as your top coat, you're gonna have to use some gel residue cleaner or some alcohol to cleanse the nail. Okay, now we have them all coated. 
we want to cure these in the lamp for 60 seconds. If if this did if that didn't work, I was gonna have to use me some of these charms. <laughs> I was gonna figure out a way to get me some hot pink on these nails. One time, Thick Exotic did a show, and we had a complete line designed for us by Tamichi, and it was zebra print with this hot pink. And that's what made me think of this. So this is a Tamichi design inspired nail. Okay, that's 60 seconds in the lamp. And now that I stated that we had an inhibition layer, I'm doing too much over here I'm doing way too much over here I gotta get this palette out the way that's that's part of the problem because this palette I'm getting the polish all over my hand all over everything that I'm using and what I'm doing is I'm using a nail pump to put me some um, alcohol onto my pad so I can wipe down the sticky layer of the nail Now, before I go any further, I'm just going to crispen up my shape of the nail on each one because I use so many layers of polish. And this is where we're going to remove this bump that's on the side of this nail from polish buildup. And I'm just using a 100, 180 grit sanding file. And I'm gonna brush off my nails. Take my acetone pad one more time. Excuse my alcohol pad. Just clean off the nails. All right, on this baby finger, since we didn't do anything to that finger, let's get us some beads. And since I'm doing so nice and well with this light cyan, I'm going to use that on the pinky finger. Give me a little bead tray. Sprinkle me some beads in there. And the bead tray is so handy because it helps you sort the nails, but it but it also allows you to put them back in. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for my super shiny top coat. And this super shiny top coat is by Diamonds of Beverly Hills. It is a super shiny, no wipe top coat. So when it dries, you don't have to wipe it off. It's just a super shiny top coat. And it makes your set last up to two, three weeks. Shiny, no chips. Okay. Gonna get me some jewelry gel that I'm almost out of, that I said I need to get some more of. All I gotta do is go over here to my Diamonds of Beverly Hills Supply and make a purchase. <laughs> make a purchase for myself. <laughs> because yes, honey, we have this in stock as well. So I'm gonna put me a big bead in the center.
crystal katana I used it to do my nails so I had I had a lot of little residue on the crystal katana I should have cleaned it Flash cure that in the lamp. So our beads don't move. Girl, that was my nail nail lamp that fell. We have a little bit of rough area over here. So before I top coat, I just gonna smooth that down a little better than I have. alcohol pad and clean that up. Get my super shiny top coat. Finish top coating these nails. do these two in matte just so you can see the difference so if you want to do them in matte you can do them in matte and this is the velvet matte top coat by daily charm diamonds of beverly hills does not sell a diamond matte but you can get daily charm by going to daily charm and using our code for 10 percent off We are right on time. And we're going to cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, we should be wrapping up this 60 seconds. And as I promised, we wrapped it up. As you can see, the two that are matte, they dried with a chalky cover. And the two that are shiny, dried with a super shiny cover. Okay. We want to finish off our nail service today by adding some cuticle oil. My cuticle dropper fell out. You know what? I was waiting. I was waiting. I was waiting for the, the. You know, I always have some type of technical difficulty on all my lives, right? And I was. I had a nail lamp drop, and my cuticle dropper fell off. <laughs> 
and I got black and white polish all over my hand. <laughs> and everything else is on my nail dust. And that is our beautiful set for today. These are zebra print nails using a marble technique and some hot pink nail art foil as the embellishment. I don't particularly like I don't particularly like these in the matte finish. I like them all with the shiny finish. I'm really not a fan of matte nails, to be honest with you. Never hardly ever see me wear matte nails on my own hands. But I understand matte is all the rage. I guess I'm old school. I like to keep it, keep it shiny. All right, that looked better. <laughs> I'll, I'll cure them when I'm off camera. But that's our nail set for today. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Nails by TC, a safer at home nail tutorial. I hope you have a happy holiday. We'll be back next Saturday, the day after New Year's, and we will have another wonderful New Year's set to practice. And I want you to be safe, wear your mask. You under safer at home orders, stay at home. Because this pandemic is raging out of control. I know we all know somebody who's been touched and affected by it. So we want to send up prayers for healing and for protection. All right, you be kind to your neighbors, y'all. And enjoy your rest of your weekend. Peace.